Welcome to day one. My name is John Meyer and we're learning about Video Ninja. What is it, how to get started, and how to use Video Ninja either as a conferencing tool or with OBS Studio for live streaming or recording. Let's get started. First, what is Video Ninja? Video Ninja allows you to bring live video from your smartphone, remote computer, or a friend's directly into OBS Studio or other studio software for live streams or recordings. It uses cutting edge peer-to-peer -peer forwarding technology that offers privacy and ultra low latency. Not to mention it's 100% free. No downloads, no personal data collected, and no need to sign in. Video Ninja was created by Steve Seguin with the help of the community. Let's talk about some prereqs before we get started. First, I suggest you use Chrome for your browser preference for this tutorial. You need a, either a laptop or a computer with a webcam and audio. You don't need the greatest quality for this, but if you want to get professional, I suggest you look at upgrading them. Next, you're going to need the latest version of OBS Studio. I'll put a link in the description below on how to install it along with some tutorials. Don't worry, this entire course supports Windows and Mac and also Linux. Now let's see how we can use Video Ninja with OBS Studio. Time to jump into the console. So let's open up the Chrome browser and go to video.ninja. Once that opens up, you have four options. If we click the drop-down arrow, you'll see an additional four options. For the purpose of day one, we're only gonna be talking about adding your camera to OBS. Down near the bottom, you'll know any known issues that are currently ongoing. You can look for the release notes of the current version. Take a look at previous versions available. I also recommend that you join the subreddit or join Discord so you can jump in and see all the latest updates for Video Ninja. I will drop a link in the description below on how to join either one. You also have the documentation, which leads to all previous versions, but also a lot of enhancements and how-tos for Video Ninja itself. Steve did include his personal email address that you can reach out to him for any questions or concerns. If you have enhancement requests, you can reach out to him there as well. Now let's click on add your camera to OBS. I'll add my default Blackmagic camera and then my mic and click start. So you're presented with a very simple screen. This is unique specifically for you. And up in the top left, you'll notice that you have a URL that's gonna be added as a browser source to OBS Studio. Click copy, open OBS Studio. I have a scene already set up for this course, but what I'm gonna add is a browser source. Let's do that now. Click add source, browser, I'm gonna give it a unique name. Once the browser source comes up, let's paste that URL right here. I'll give it the width and height of 1920 by 1080. I do recommend that you click control audio via OBS. This will allow OBS to control the audio for the browser source. You can make adjustments, tone it down, and do additional enhancements for it. Back within OBS Studio, click OK, and there you go. That concludes day one of what is Video Ninja and our Video Ninja course. Stay tuned for day two where we talk about some of the other options and features like creating a room and the director panel.